bikini poppin', I'm a blossom I don't need a bottom money to my robin' I'm official, on a dotty You can hear the vroom vroom in my robin' I'm not sorry, no I'm not sorry It's official, I'm a problem, I don't mean it this Just think about it right now, everything's okay No matter where you find yourself no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life. Underneath it all, everything's actually all right. You're okay. You have more power than you like to give yourself credit for. And if you have something that's going on in your life right now that's challenging, Hey Royals, welcome back to my channel. As y'all seen by the title, today's video is gonna be a week in my life, but if I'm being honest, it's gonna be like a fake week in my life because today's Thursday and I'm just not starting this vlog. So more like a couple days in my life. But yeah, I finally came up with a posting schedule that's gonna work for me. Hopefully work for you guys as well. Yes, my face is covered in pimple patches. I'll catch you guys up, but as of right now, I'm low key, high key in a rush. So let's make our way out. Packages because I have a few packages and I don't want to hog up like the lockers. Here's a package right here of mine. None of the other ones on the tables belong to me, so we're about to use this. Okay, then we got another one. Package, and then we got a box. This is a pretty big box. What did I order? All right, packages. I'm about to just take these to my car. Then we're gonna go to the gas station. So I'll see you guys once we get there. Not that y'all ever care, but I'm getting gas. I was gonna talk to y'all here at the gas station, but somebody playing music and I'm not trying to get copyrighted, but I will show y'all how much gas car costs for my little car. It's gonna be like $50. Okay, so it stopped at $41.95. I'm not too upset at that. I'm a, all right, $42.10 for the finale. Put you up. So I'm in route to get the kids. But anyway, yeah, like I have some exciting news for like business related stuff. But I'll wait to my next entrepreneur vlog. I have a new schedule and I have something really, really exciting coming up in nine days. You guys will see it's going to be a whole movie. No if ands or buts about it. It's about to be a whole movie. I'm about to live my best life. And I'm bringing y'all with me. I'm about to listen to some music. You know the secrets I can never tell. I can't pretend that I'm not lonely, but I'll be. Child, that police was pressed. Like you in the cut like that? You're in the cut like that, sir? Grow up. Like, for real. Grow up. Like that was so childish. Still like my mommy. That my mama. Tati, I'll pick up the kid. Why would he text me that when I'm halfway on my way to pick up the kid? But I'm blessed. I'm I'm just turn around. Hope you get rest. See you tomorrow. I love them. Okay. Well, we're off. Ah. Okay. Chill out. Just want to show y'all some of the package. So I had ordered some um, airtight containers. It came with ten of them, five big, five small. And I'm excited because that way my fruits and vegetables will last a lot longer because I do run out of those. And I'm also right now looking for this TikTok to send my friend. Who is this? What? Leave me alone. My boys just hang it up. Like y'all just aggravating. But anyway. Oh, they did come. So I've been ordering a bunch of croissants because I want to try to do it. Like I just want to save a coin because I'm tired of giving my money to these salons. But they're not to do what they're supposed to do. Like this package. This is more like it. Because last time I ordered a bag, that mug was so flimsy. But this honey is what I call 
a nice carry on bag. Get into it. That's cute. Then I got this mask. This is a lip sleeping mask. This looks super satisfying. I've been working a lot of Amazon stuff and I'm not going to insert old clips. But I feel like that's petty. I feel like y'all probably tired of me doing that. I will say is that I ordered stuff for me to do acrylics for my toes and I did one foot and I didn't do terrible. Basically, I'm trying to figure out to go to urgent care for my migraines. Okay guys, so I'm about to rinse these out and stuff so I can actually use them for what they're made for. Remove all the plastic first and then sit them over here so I can wash them with water and some soap. Then after I finish doing this, I'm gonna get myself ready to go downstairs and go to the gym. Miss the piece of plastic. Yes, you guys, what have you guys been up to? I just been over here in pain, struggling, but I've been blessed to be alive at the same time. You know what I mean, it's not all bad. Working, vibes, just big vibes. That's a good idea for me to do peppers and then that way when it's time for me to cook i don't have to like spend the time doing it at that moment like i can just you know throw them in a the pan i'm probably not going to do onions because i don't want onions to like stink up stink up the container forever i'm gonna do cucumbers and peppers all right we're gonna rinse these two and also, while I cut these, I'm gonna listen to music, so I'll be back. Well, y'all see me cut, but you know. Alexa, play R&B music. It's a station you might not. Nice is R&B. What happens in music?
basically it low-key took me hours um to go ahead and separate everything into the containers like at least an hour and a half to two hours because i also cut a watermelon and then had to separate that and i didn't use the glass um containers that i just got for the watermelon just because i killed watermelon i was even eating it while i was cutting it because that's how much i'm obsessed so let me show you everything else also restocked stuff up there like toilet paper paper towels also washing my comforter right now so that's what's in the washer making that noise i gather all the trash together so i'm about to take that down then i decided for dinner today to order out but i did prep dinner for tomorrow so that i won't have to worry about it I'm here on the patio and i'm about to clean up the mess that i've created out here Okay, I said we will work out, so let's pick out something to work out in. Oh, let's look into it. Do we have clothes to work out in? Because if we don't have clothes to work out in, we cannot work out. Simple mathematics. I'm gonna try to look cute working out or something. Not cute, but these because I hear you work out better if you look cute. And I wanna work out the best that I possibly can. So I'm gonna see if that's true or not, and I'm gonna let y'all know. Y'all, I have too many clothes, like the fact that I'm gonna look for this stuff that this these workout clothes this company sent me. Where they at? Where is y'all at? These aren't it, but I'm gonna wear these black Spanx and probably a hoodie. Cause I'll be liking to sweat real nice. It's not gonna be cute, but it's gonna be cuter than I look on a day to day basis, which that's something else that I'm willing and ready to confront. Look good, feel good. So from this video forward, I gotta start looking good. I shouldn't say start looking good because naturally God has blessed me, but I should say I have to start putting in effort because that I don't do. Ooh, this is cute. I forgot I had this outfit. Yeah, we might do this. This is what I'm wearing. I want some Spanx and a hoodie. You about to, oh, and I put on this like Adidas sports bra that I bought from like TJ Maxx. This is how we look, and let's go with it. I'm so happy because I'm the only one in here. <laughs> trying to be a decent person and like stretch before I work out, so I'm a stretch. I put end up putting my this on. said I'm not alone anymore and the machine I was gonna use is being used and there's like three of them but one of them doesn't work and the other one that does work is right next to the person who just got on you know I still have my membership at Planet Fitness but I just that's too much so maybe I'll do the bicycle for cardio first and then go to the treadmill I basically decided I'm gonna try to jog outside because of the treadmill usage. So I'm not gonna film it because that's embarrassing. I'll see you guys once I go back inside and just wait. Gives tick tock when I dance. On that demon time, she might start her only fans. Big B and that B stands for bands. If you wanna see some real ass, baby, here's your chance. I say left cheek, right cheek, drop it low this one. Texas up in this thing, put you up on this game. I be walking my friend. Gang, 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 gang. If you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Please don't give me hype. Write my name in ice. Can't argue with these lazy bitches.
bitches, I just raise my price. I'm a boss, I'm a leader. I pull up in my two seater, and my mama was a savage. Pick up, got this shit from Tina. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy. So, hey guys. So, we're on the second day of the vlog. I'm thinking title. I don't know the title of this vlog. It's probably going to be like a productive week in my life. But the purpose of the vlog is just going to be for me to like reclaim my productivity. Reclaim my time. All that good stuff. So, this morning, I woke up. I'm not going to say I did my full skincare routine. Because I know I'm about to go work out. So, I didn't do my full skincare routine. But I did wash my face. And then, wash my face, brush my teeth, shower, caught up on the socials. Because I'm like, I'm going to do that now. And then later. I'm gonna as soon as I get back to the apartment and right into it I'm jumping right into everything I need to do so everything I need to do let's let's talk about it right now I'm on my way to work I get to work at 7 30 then I'm done with work by 9 30 and then I'm gonna go back home as soon as I get back home I'm about to work out transparent moment right now I have gotten up to 165 pounds very much voluptuous very much thick my body the way my body is set up weight fluctuates like a lot and I'm sure you guys have noticed that. Also need to do some returns. You just have to see. But basically, I'm getting my life together. That's all you need to know. And I also need to do some orders, send some things off, and all that good stuff. But you guys are going to be with me from all day today. And then also, you guys are going to be with me all day tomorrow. It's only going to make sense if I vlog consistently. So, let's get into that. Ooh, I just feel so refreshed today. After a day off, I'm telling y'all, day, days off or time off really will rejuvenate you. I'm about to go into work. I'm done with work. I'll be back once we are taking the kids to camp. Aww, why is he crying? He doesn't want to go to camp. Makes sense. <laughs> oh, Pooter. It's okay. Daddy has to go. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, sorry for the wait. Oh, it's okay. What's the last name again? And how's everyone feeling? Good. Thank All right, you. you guys are all set. Come on in. All right, have a great day. Be great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My ears are open. Be great today. <laughs> Bye. All right, have a good day. You too. Good morning, you guys. I'm super sorry because I really did forget. Well, I didn't forget that I was filming. I'm going to be honest. It's just that when I came home yesterday from work, I got straight to work, if that makes sense. So I had actually purchased this. I was cleaning. Sorry. <laughs> Everything's just throwing me off. I'll tell you how things went when I came back from work yesterday. So I came home, literally came inside, washed my hands cook dinner like right away because I got home at like 6 30 cook dinner right away eight I made like some veggie fried rice 10 out of 10 then after that uh purchased this um course for a new venture that I'm interested in getting into and it was like a video and it's like a few hours long so I literally sat through almost two hours of it so now I'm about to finish the rest of it this morning I woke up at seven it's currently nine I have been bumming it because I went to sleep at three also cleaned up a little bit last night but today we need to do a deep clean but anyway let's go ahead and press play take some notes let you guys watch for a little bit and then when I come back um, we're gonna either get dressed or clean up. We'll see.
Okay, let me get y'all right. Let me get y'all right. There we go. So I have cleaned up and I showered. Now I decided that today I'm gonna try and like do my makeup because I don't know how to do it anymore. Like at one point I got these and then I like lost it. So I wanna practice at least doing like a natural beat, like some some coverage. And honestly, the real reason I want to do this is because I wanna practice putting on like lashes. Cause I bought some lashes and I saw like a TikTok tutorial on how to put lashes on. So I'm like, say what? About to do my little makeup or whatever. So I'm just pulling a bunch of stuff out right here right now. It's a lot of stuff I have for me not to do makeup. Be right back. I'm about to go wet all through my booty booty. <laughs> all through my beauty blender from London Doll Beauty. It's like a prime prep prime and finishing spray. So I'm gonna use that. Also brought some powder. Take my pimple pad pimple pad off. I'm about to start on my eyebrows. I'm just gonna put a little bit of got to be on them. I was thinking about maybe watching a tutorial, but I don't think I even wanna watch a tutorial because I feel like if I watch a tutorial, then it's not gonna turn out right. Usually when I try to do that, that's when my makeup end up fried. Like that's what I did uh, last year for my 24th birthday before my uh, photo shoot. I had saw this tutorial on how this girl did her makeup. And my makeup turned out terrible because it wasn't like what I usually do. So just make the eyebrows thin how we want them. Boom. Like so like that. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about like. I don't want to say mental health but basically. And I feel like mental health is something that's like to me annoyingly. I feel like people are using it to just get close to people just to gain support but not genuinely be there for people if that makes sense like i don't know and that's something that's frustrating to me like you can be a person who goes through stuff mentally and you don't have to try to create a safe space for other people because imagine imagine sitting there creating a safe space for somebody just for you not to show up when you told them that you would like i don't know i don't think it's everybody's job to do so but don't get on your platform and pretend oh tell me about your mental health just for your algorithm like just so people can comment under your stuff and you don't care you don't respond like i'm really sick and tired of seeing creators do that like y'all really sitting out here trying to get these people to spill their um spill their hearts in the comment section and again not that you have to respond to everybody but y'all really doing it for algorithm purposes and it's starting to become very obvious and not all creators are like this obviously but I do not care like at all so don't put yourself in a in a in a place like it's just weird to me and it's very it's very discouraging like where do you get off i'm saying all that to say find somebody who really cares whether that's like some a friend that's actually in your life a therapist your mom whoever that may be but if you see um, a creator who out here talk about some oh tell me why you're depressed in my comment section just for them not to respond i just really feel as though y'all trying to pull on people's strings using mental health and that's fucking lame like it's childish find something else to talk about like what i do say comment down below emoji of the day but y'all up here having people spill their hearts in the comment section they think that them spilling their heart is going to get them a comment back from their favorite creator and it doesn't i will say it's good for finding other people sometimes like sometimes you can find somebody another subscriber or another supporter in the same comment section who might say like oh like i'm going through the same thing you should try this or you could talk to me which is good for that but again i still don't think it's cool for the actual content creator do that just for algorithm just for comments just for, like how oh, weird i just shut up because it's starting to sound like tea and it's, it's just really it's really not tea it's just frustrating from seeing that happen i mean across all different platforms and i see it happen so much that it's like i'm not perfect like come on now duh. i don't even really like now I do, but at the time I was not on my platform even touching on mental health. And now I don't really touch on it even. I just kind of tell y'all like I be going through stuff. Like I don't even tell y'all to, to what it, oh crap, I just messed up my eyebrow. I don't even tell you all to what extent I'm going through anything. What I'm going through really, I just tell y'all. And I think that's why people kind of get sick of it. But not that y'all ask. Oh no, I just got makeup on my eye mac. 
I shouldn't say that. I got makeup on my computer. That sounded so materialistic. That's like you asked somebody, oh, can you pass me my Louis Vuitton instead of saying like, can you pass me my purse? <laughs> extra so i'm editing right now and i decided to clarify because i decided to stop talking about it because i felt like like i kind of said in the clip i felt like it was starting to sound like tea or like um gossiping or something but that was really not the case it's just that i get on tiktok or i get on instagram or i get on youtube and i see people who try to like and it's their actual purpose to create a safe space for people like for mental health and they'll verbally say let's talk about what you're going through in the comment section like i want to i want to respond to all y'all because i really care what you guys have going on because i'm going through it and i know what it's like like saying stuff like that and then really it's just to promote something that they're selling like it's to promote self-love course or something like that like it's just annoying i don't know like is it just me when it comes to people who get surgery there's nothing wrong with surgery do what you want to do that's your body that's your money fine but when you get on your platform and you lie and say that you got that body from working out just so that you can sell a product from a company that you're sponsored by it's like the same thing i feel like people are doing but for mental health and i just feel like that's something that we really should just leave alone like if people are going through stuff the last thing that they need is somebody pretending to be their friend somebody pretending to be in support of them to really care that is just too much like what if that was my last straw like i don't know maybe no i'm not tripping i know i'm not tripping my feelings are completely valid and i just wanted to speak on that because y'all really need to stop doing that like if you want to sell a course sell a book sell anything fine but at least when you say comment down below so that we can talk about it so that i can comment back and i can respond to everybody and you don't do that it's giving it's for the algorithm it's for sales that's so lame stop it like i know for me personally when i talk about stuff i be telling y'all i don't want to talk about it in the comment section because sometimes i do like advice but it's not for people to feel bad for me i just want y'all to know why i've been missing i just want you all to understand why i'm acting different why i'm moving different why i'm not as productive why i'm gaining weight like i want y'all to understand that part of it but not so much to where because i know i'm not mentally prepared to have some of the conversations I've had people reach out to me though. When I see those messages, I'm responding. Like I'm not about to leave that on scene. I'm responding because wow, like you really took the time to reach out to me and tell me what you're going through just because I make t-shirts and you want to make t-shirts like that really moves me. And maybe it's because my pop platform is not as big now, but I just don't see myself getting on here and saying, hey you guys, I'm going through it mentally. Creating a platform based around mental health. Encouraging everybody to comment down below about mental health just for me to not really care. Vent over. Let's listen to some music. You say you got a girl. You're always so on my mind. You can look in my eyes and tell. Always on my mind. Hey, yo, man, yo, man. Let me switch my flow. We're just starting on these hoes. We all know we're doing all things. We're killing it. Okay, that was good. I don't wanna go another day. My bitches all bad, my niggas all real. I ride a big fat chick, big large bills. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Now where you been? It's been a year, baby. I didn't see you. This working is you gon' cut me a birthday. That didn't last long at all. I took my makeup right off because I I don't know what it is. Makeup makes me feel so uncomfortable. Actually, I do know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is in regards to me like not feeling comfortable in makeup, not feeling comfortable like when I get dressed up and stuff. I know exactly what it is, but I'll maybe touch touch on that in a, another video i don't know if it'll be on this channel but i'm excited because every day of this vlog i i was telling you guys in the beginning of the vlog that i wanted to like work out every day um i've been doing that but i try not to be repetitive with the vlog so the stuff that i did in the first day i didn't want to show again in the second day etc etc just now i went downstairs and i got packages that had been down there but i guess i just didn't see them when i went originally so i'm gonna open those up really quickly and maybe do some finishing thoughts and we'll close out this big box is, i'm sent i'm gonna take it back like i don't even well i'll open it just for the sake of so you guys can see what it is but 
I decided I don't want this. I don't want to keep it or anything because I feel like it promotes laziness. And that's the exact opposite of what I need right now. Like I've already been lazy enough. I got myself this like mini pink fan, which I thought was cute. Honestly, get into it, get into it. Oh, and it got little different modes. I like that a lot. It's so cute. I have no true purpose for this, but how cute is it? And kind of, I do have a purpose. Like for, you know how like at the nail salon, they blow on your acrylic with the little fan sometimes. So I'm like, maybe I could use it for that. I'm not going to open it. I'll, I'm not even going to insert a picture. But basically, it was one of those, like when you're laying down in bed, a desk for your bed like where you could just put the thing over top of you and put the laptop i've been making a very conscious effort to do work at my desk using the desktop and i've been doing a really really good job at that so i was moving backwards by even purchasing that I'm gonna send that back no cap overall this video was to prepare me for august like i said i created a schedule for my youtube channel which i'm very excited about because it actually makes sense basically like broke down what i want each day to be like i want sundays to be for this type of content i want mondays to be for this type of content etc 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 days times all that i figured out we did that we did some organization around the house the reason that i didn't do a lot of cleaning of the apartment because i'm going to do like a deep clean my apartment with me video so i didn't want to add that to this vlog and it just seemed repetitive i'm trying to not be as repetitive as, as i have been yeah we did some organization around here also also address the fact that kind of something I just was talking about just now the fact that I don't like I don't really show up I roll out of bed don't do my edges don't wear earrings all the time just come on the camera and go out in the world looking any type of way and I know why <laughs> hashtag trauma but we'll talk about that some other time maybe probably not I'm gonna stop doing that so like I said from this video forward I'm gonna show up I'm gonna look good and if I don't look good feel free to comment down below okay edges trying to be funny you know what I mean like stuff like that whatever the case hold me accountable I am going into another a new business venture so I took notes for that a lot of stuff and then there's a lot more stuff which y'all will see in other vlogs I can't put everything you know even though the basis of my channel is kind of like productivity so it's hard for me to like not cross topics although I was working on orders during these times I took that stuff out for a different vlog but overall this was like i said to get my mental my physical my mind everything right and prepare for august because august is about to be very much lit like august we here baby i've never been so excited for august happy august 1st to everybody who's seen this because this video will be uploaded on sunday which is august 1st love you guys so much comment down below any questions comments concerns video suggestions if you're new to this channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button give this video a huge thumbs up and emoji of the day today is going to be the sparkle emoji baby <clears throat> or a flower because we're blooming into like a new month i don't know whichever you may prefer and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out Peace, love, light, blessings. Mm.